In this video, we're going to focus on the last manual digitizing tool, and this one is the applique tool. You can see located here under the digitizing tools. You can also access it up top here um, on the far right. If you click on this digitizing tools, it's the last one that says applique stitch. Applique is a really neat tool, and the reason it's neat is because with applique, there's basically three things that you need. You need a placement stitch so you know where to place your fabric. You lay the fabric on top of that placement stitch, and then you have a tack down run stitch. And that one is used to attach the fabric to um, whatever you're putting it onto. And then you have a third stitch, which is your border stitch. And sometimes you might not use a border stitch. You might just use the tack down if you're doing something like a raw edge. And in this video, we're just going to focus on the tool. And in the next section, we'll talk about all the different ways that you can edit it. In this video, just showing how to create the applique. So you can see that I have a few shapes here. And the reason I have these is because they can pose a little bit of um, issues and one of them has a hole in it. So we need to know how to accommodate for that. So I'm going to lock these. And the reason I'm locking them is because I don't want to be able to select them. Let's focus first on the one that's probably the easiest and that's this heart. So let's come in here. I'm going to grab the applique tool, applique stitch. And I usually start in an area where there's a sharp bend or curve. So that would be right here. And you outline it just like you do any of the other stitch types, the run stitch, fill stitch. Um, you just hold down control to create the curve and you release the control if you're doing a straight line. And the other thing we have to keep in mind is when we get to a sharp bend where it's going to start wrapping around, the next stitch that I do once I get to the edge, I have to do a straight stitch and I do it close to here because if I keep holding down control, it'll bend this line around. It won't give me that point. So I'll just show you what that looks like. If I keep holding down control, notice that it bends that line and that's not the look that I want. So I'm going to backspace a couple times. I can hold down control to get to this one, but now I need to release it and drop a little stitch. Now I can hold down control again to create the curve line and I won't run into any issue. So I'm just going around this shape and just like I would normally. And I like to hit um, shift C or this close button so that it locks this together. So you can see that it does that. And the moment I do it, it creates the applique stitches. And this isn't just a satin stitch. If I come down here, this is in my sequence view, you'll see if I press plus, it says applique, and there's another little plus symbol to expand. And what it's doing is it's creating three different stitches. This is going to be the placement, this is the tack down, and this is the border. You'll also notice that it automatically creates these little stops, and it says before proceeding, place the applique fabric over the placement line. And then it talks about if you're going to manually cut it or use a cutter to pre-cut it. And then this one, when you get done with the tack down after you've done that, before proceeding, cut the excess fabric away. That's if you're manually, you know, um, cutting the material, if you're not using like a fabric cutting machine. And then it'll do the border. So these little stops are pretty neat. And the reason they are is if I go to print preview here, um, as long as in my settings I have it to show me the notes, if I want to print this design out, it's going to put it in sequence of like how I would stitch it. So I could use this as a guide to remember, oh, I need to place the fabric down before I do the next color. Oh, I need to cut the fabric out before I go to the next color. And so this is just a very helpful guide for you um, in, in doing it. Now, I will tell you, I'm going into settings for this print preview. You'll need to have the checkbox next to print um, to print design notes right here. You want to have those notes, and you might want to check this one. Um, this was the one you actually want, the print notes and color analysis here, because this is the color analysis page. Um, 
you'll definitely want to do that so that you can see that and that's it close so that was just a little mini lesson inside of this lesson so if i do a slow redraw um, that'll help you to see what's going on and it does each one in different colors so the first one is the placement stitch and once it gets done it's going to do the tack down and um, the neat thing about it is if i zoom in notice that it's offset it actually brings it in a little bit so that if you pre-cut it it's not going to jump off the edge it's actually going to grab the fabric and then let's keep going after it does that tack down it's going to start doing the border so that's kind of how it works and in the next video we will talk about you know handling these corners and stuff like that so let's go ahead and take a look at this one right here um, this one now oh, let's do the guitar sorry guitar is a little bit simpler than that butterfly so same thing i'm going to grab the applique tool and I'm just going to be going around this shape. I can just left click here because these are straight lines. I don't need to hold down control. Um, and I'll get to this point. And now, um, if I just hold down control now, it's going to bend the previous point. So I need to drop a little stitch here. And now I can hold down control and start going around the edge. Again, you just need to practice with outlining because that's what we're doing. I release control, click here. And then I hold down control again and then go around the shape. I'm not going to get it perfect. I'm going to actually do it pretty quick. And the reason is because this is just to show you how this tool kind of works. So um, get around here. And now I can close the shape. So I'm going to hit the close shape icon. And it's going to generate the stitches. Pretty simple stuff. And it automatically, again, creates the placement the tack down and the border stitch and we'll learn how to adjust this in the next video so the reason that I brought this one in is because this has a lot of sharp curves to it that doesn't make it hard to trace it out by any means but what it does is it because I'm creating this as one object and I'm not breaking it up into multiple objects, meaning um, I'm not stopping right here and then starting another line. I'm creating it all as one. When you, whenever you're doing that, you're basically um, at the mercy of the software on how it thinks is the best to handle a sharp turn, like right here this is a sharp turn and so sometimes you can get some looks that are that are kind of odd and we'll focus on editing it later and then I'll probably even show you how I actually would do this design um, because a lot of times I won't use the applique tool a lot of times I will create my own placement my own tack down and my own border so that I can have greater control now on a simple design yes it works great it does what it's supposed to do I'm going to close this but you can see here um, based on the size of it you can see that there's a lot going on in these corners and this might not be how i want to handle the corners so that's kind of why i wanted to show this to you now if i resize this and i make it larger you can see that it'll start looking better and better uh, because there's more area to work with now it's looking a lot better in those curves if i try to make this even smaller it'll get even more bunched up looking and so it's just something to keep in mind that actually isn't too bad really but you can see a lot of sharp a lot of sharp curves and it comes in pretty far in the point so we'll look at um, editing these um, and in the next section so I wanted to show this to kind of just give you an idea when you're working with these tight curves what can happen and in the next uh, video we will edit it but before we do we need to address this and this is a this is a um, 
something with a hole cut out in it. And you can definitely do this as um, applique. And, but you have to decide how you want to do it. If you want to use the applique tool, um, you're going to have to go around one side first and then, and then punch a hole out of it. So let's just take a look at this. And I, I kind of showed you in a in the previous video on a fill stitch um, that you can actually create it as um, artwork first. And you can see that I'm not really given a really good option here. Like I don't have the ability to click on this add hole and create a hole. I'm not able to right mouse click on it and create a hole. Um, so what do I do in this situation? Well, I can convert it to artwork. Um, let me go back to a regular selection and I can convert it to artwork. And now I can just create another artwork line. These are good things to kind of know how you can work around something. So I'm going to grab this artwork tool and I'm going to click and go around this shape here on the inner side of it. I'm not getting this perfect. Um, so um, close that and let's go down here and you can see that I have two separate objects here. If I want to convert this to applique, I need to combine these two together. Okay. So I need to select them, both of them, and then hit combine. And when I do that, you can see now in the sequence view that it's one object that has a hole punched through it. If I fill it, um, it'll look basically like this right here. If I hit fill, you can see that it definitely has a hole cut out in it. And when I get to this point, I can just come down here and convert it to applique. And that's the same thing is just doing it yourself going around the edges. But that is it probably the easiest way to deal with holes is just to create it as artwork first, combine it and then convert it. And it just that way you won't run into okay, well what do I do? I didn't I closed it too early and I didn't add my hole. Um, it just it just makes it a little bit easier. And in the next section um, we will talk about how to adjust for this. And so that's it for this one on the applique. Um, it's not hard to create it. It's just like creating any other stitch. The nice thing is, is it creates a placement, a tack down and a border stitch for you automatically so that you don't have to create them one at a time. See you in the next videos.